Good morning. It's the 29th of January. It's a Monday and I will head to work shortly. I just wanted to pop in and say that I finished Void and Eid and Gummelman by Annabel Despair. Uh, the title means Spr uh, The Spring is an Old Man. Uh, this is a poetry book and it was an okay re read. I, before this I actually read Time is a Mother by Ocean Wong and that made a big impression on me so that didn't help <laughs> with this poetry book either and that was poetry as well. Uh, Time is a Mother made a big impression on me. It was sh such beautiful poetry and touches on quite a lot of themes, important themes like racism and homophobia. Such a good read. And I think I'd like to read more books by that author. As for this author, maybe, maybe sometime. Uh, I haven't decided. Uh, but this is this year's 11th book, actually. Um, so much for slowing down. Um, but yeah, it was an easy read, uh, not a long, very long one. I'm going to pick up another book now, and I am going to read India Po 200 Seder, I think it's called. Uh, India in 200 pages, and the reason for me wanting to read that is I have a thing for India. Also, I am off to India in October, which I'm really looking forward to. Here's a pile of books that I need to hand back to the library. So, of course, the poetry book that I just finished, The Hundred Years War on Palestine, was probably the most important book that I read in 2023. It's about the conflict in Palestine and it's really interesting, it's a history book and it shows that the conflict is by far <laughs> older than since October. It didn't start in October, it's much much older than that and I thought it was super interesting and a very very important book. It's by Rashid Khalidi, highly recommended. Of course, Jon Fosse Quitlake, one of my favorites last year. A route though that I finished when I was traveling to Gothenburg on last week. Uh, Minskam by As Nadia Ansad, super interesting memoir. And then I read Us, which is a graphic memoir, also very interesting, and in that this is like a recipe book for baking in bread machine, which I haven't used. <laughs> it is five degrees plus. Today, Celsius. That's quite nice. I am on my way to work <laughs> and I just thought I would pop in and talk a little bit about going to India because I don't know, uh, people who know me know that it's a dream of mine to go to India. It's something I've been wanting to do for many years. I've been saving money for years. And my initial thought was going there alone, like a solo traveler, and in a way I'm still going alone, I'm not going with anyone I know, but I am going on, I have to look down because there's patches of ice, uh, but yeah, I'm going on an organized trip. Uh, because I don't feel safe enough to go alone at the moment and my partner doesn't really like warmer weather so, <laughs> so it'll be just me and a bunch of people I don't know I have paid extra for <laughs> sorry noise um, paid extra for a single room so that I can get some privacy because I need that as an introvert. I'm sure it'll be plenty of socializing. Uh, and yeah, I read books on India before. I've read books by Indian authors. I always look for books by Indian authors. Uh, so I'll continue reading that, but I also want to read more books on India to read more about history. Even though I like read about the history and such before, I think it's it's interesting and 
having more points of view. So it's very interesting and very much looking forward to that. I think it'll be a really a bit of an adventure I guess. Good morning, it is Tuesday and a new dawn. Yesterday I picked up a new book from the library and it's this one, India på väg till Hindu nationalism or India on its way to Hindu nationalism and it's like a political view on India today which I think it will be very interesting. It's a <laughs> A bit of a chunker, but I think it'll be very interesting. Not quite sure when I'll get around to it though. Uh, I'm reading another book on India right now and I think after that I'll read some fiction. But we'll see. Uh, currently reading the other book on India. believe it's Wednesday and the last day of January already. I didn't really get around to vlog much yesterday but today is another day. I'm working late and I think it's in its place to start with a cup of coffee and reading my book. Best way to start the day. I am walking to work and I'm very happy that a lot of the snow has gone. There's still icy some places and there's still <laughs> quite a bit snow of snow of some places but by far less than it was. We had some days with really mild weather and also some rain. <laughs> and somehow I managed to kind of run late for work even though I started 11 today. So that's a bit crappy, but hey. It is getting late and it is the end of January. <laughs> it feels like it's been a very long month to be honest. I am not a big fan of January. I'm actually not a fan, big fan of December, January, no. Uh, I'm not a big fan of November, December, January and February. That's my least favorite months I think. But it is getting lighter so that's a plus longer days and tonight I actually finished this book India in 200 pages and I find it kind of interesting I know a bit about India from before because it's like an area of interest to me but I think I've learned more about India in 200 pages in a 200 pages book than I ever did in school, 
which says something. And yeah, India is such a fascinating and interesting country. It has a very interesting history. It's still a really interesting country and I'm looking forward to learn more about India because I keep doing that. There's always a lot to learn. Uh, I also want to read more books by Indian authors. Uh, I took part in the Indian Indian Lit Readathon in summer of 2021. I actually have a blog post on that. Uh, I'll see if I can remember to link it somewhere around here or in the description box. I'll try to remember doing that. And yeah, it's getting late and tomorrow is a new day, a new month. And I need to get up early for work. So I guess that's it for now. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.